the next item on the agenda is item 7.1 cooperative vocational education agreement with Roseville Joint Union High School District good evening good evening mayor Allard Council members, I'm Stacy Peterson, the Human Resources Director, and I'm simply doing an introduction tonight for this item. Um, we are excited to be bringing forward this vocational educational agreement for Council to consider um, because we're working right now on preparing the next generation of public sector employees. So this is a great way for us to start to educate the youth about future career opportunities with the city. So I'll, at this time, I'll turn it over to Hetty Dagan, our assistant HR director and she'll introduce our special guests. Thank you, Stacy. Good evening, Mayor Allard and members of the council. As Stacy mentioned, I'm Hetty Dagan, your assistant human resources director. I have the pleasure of also introducing Terry Griffin. Terry is the coordinator for work-based learning programs with Roseville Joint Union High School District and along with her is Jacob Stout. Jacob is a high school student from Granite Bay High School. So formally for your consideration this evening is a request to adopt a resolution authorizing the city manager to execute a cooperative vocational education agreement with Roseville Joint Union High School District. So as mentioned in the memo, the staff memo, the city is collaborating with the district and other entities such as Innovative Pathways to Public Service or IPPS <laughs> um, to promote civics education and public sector career awareness. Um, as you may recall, last November, the city participated in Careers in Public Service Day, um, which was sponsored by IPPS. We did that in coordination with Terry and the Roseville Joint Union High School District, where we hosted approximately 30 high school students on site who are interested in engineering career opportunities. And so these students are engaged in learning programs in the classroom and we wanted to expose them to what it would be like to come to work for the city in engineering jobs. So they really got that bird's eye view on what it would be like to come work for the city as an engineer. Um, we'd like to continue promoting these programs. Uh, we plan to have future programs such as that one and uh, showcasing and highlighting our variety of careers that we have to offer. While that one was focused on engineering programs, which is what the high school wanted us to do, we'll be showcasing our other jobs in the future. So we really feel like these programs, along with the vocational agreement before you this evening, will help engage our high school students. While they're in school and they're learning their curriculum in the classroom, they'll also be able to supplement that with real life work experiences, being on site at a work site, experiencing different careers to make a determination of whether or not they want to pursue that career opportunity when they're finished with school. Um, so as part of this collaboration, we're requesting that you consider the citywide agreement so we have it in place. And as opportunities come up, we're able to offer internship opportunities um, to our local high school students. Uh, that said, uh, this, there is no fiscal impact associated with this program as these internships are unpaid. And uh, likewise, it will not displace any current city employees or otherwise fill positions that would be occupied by city employees. So that said, I'm gonna turn it over to Terry so that she can give you some more information about the program specifics and this internship opportunity. Thank you. Well, first I'd like to thank the city of Roseville for working so hard in the last year to create a very impactful partnership with us. Um, the state of California has 15 identified industry sectors. At Roseville Joint, we have career technical pathways that feed into eight of those industry sectors. Our career technical pathways are anything from business to graphic design, engineering, medical, and health. And those are very carefully selected because we we choose pathways that lead to jobs that will support our local economy. We want our students to come back and either work for the city of Roseville after college or come back to our the area at least. Um, this internship program not only will improve our students' employability skills, but it will also allow them to take the technical skills that they learn in the classroom and apply them in a real work environment. And that's when we really see the light go on for these kids. They become more engaged. They're able to identify their passions and able to figure out exactly what they want to do in college, maybe narrow down their major, their focus in careers, or future technical schooling. 
So at the same time that they'll be in this internship program, they'll actually attend class once a week where they're learning what we call 21st century employability skills. So they will have lessons on adaptability, project management, um, team building. So I, I'd like to turn this over to Jacob who attended the um, career day event that we had for engineering. Hi, uh, I'm Jacob Stout and um, yeah, I go to Granite Bay High School and I attended the career day for Roseville City, uh, City of Roseville and I found it incredibly interesting just to see like the real world applications of just engineering and what we learned in the classroom, especially just like, for example, the water treatment plant seeing how it like all the process and the all the work that gets put into it and then just the and just like how then I use that and just under getting greater not only like for like just greater um what is it called being grateful for just like what I have in the water but also just like in general just seeing how these people work so hard and just also seeing the jobs that they do and the engineering applications for it and also um like just even the environmental engineering when they talked about the watershed I found that incredibly interesting just to see how they're taking the natural resources of California and then using that to better the city of Roseville and just create also jobs for people who are interested in that. And um, some of the benefits I find of an engineering internship, I am currently have one right now, is just it takes, like, like they said, it takes what we learn in the classroom with the maths and sciences when that, where that's like really structured and it's like they tell you what you need to learn and know. The in the engineering field that I'm learning from an internship, is it gets personalized for each job. So I didn't really realize that before an internship, and I think that's something really important that kids could like know, is it's not just like taking the information and just regurgitating it, that you can do it, but it's really taking it and then customizing or like customizing it for the job that you're in. And so it's like, and it's just really interesting too, to see just le not only learning the new programs, but then also like for the internship I have now, just seeing how to better fit their, their jobs and what they're doing they change the program and then just being taught that, I think it's really interesting just to see, uh, see how the industry works. Thank you. So that concludes our presentation. We're available to take any questions that you may have for us. Okay, council, questions on the presentation? <coughs> how, many, how, how many students? 150? No, just <laughs> <laughs> um, How many students will be going through the internship program? So uh, contingent upon your approval tonight, we actually do have a meeting tomorrow with the various departments that are interested in um, employing a student intern or engaging with a student intern. And so the exact numbers are um, to be determined, but we're hoping to host as many students as possible in our various work sites. 150, I heard Sure, that, 150. So. We'll take them. We'll be happy with 10. <laughs> For how long do they, if the internship, is it a, is it a semester or a couple of weeks or? You probably recognize it as a semester. We're on a block system. So yeah. these students will actually start applying. They have to interview for their jobs, turn in a resume, and then they would come to you the end of August and go through approximately December 13th. Okay. And then we start again in January and go through May with a new set. Okay. Okay, council, other questions? Um, i just like to say it's nice to meet you. You and I have spoke on the phone yes, because um, Terry <clears throat> called me and I own a business and Terry asked if I would consider taking a student in and I um, interviewed a really intelligent young man and I told him about what we do um, and then I also told him, I happened to tell him about the city, about um, serving on the council and he was like, his eyes got huge and he was like, well, I really like to be an engineer. So I had to call Terry and um, say, I think I have somebody else for, you know, I think he wants to work for, you know, the city instead. But um, I just commend you for so much for what you're doing and the city for doing this. How, we have so many students here tonight. So how would um, students learn about um, what you're offering and where would they go for more information? I don't know if you're all from Roseville or not, but if you are, you have to be in a career technical education pathway. So each of your schools has more than at least three to four career technical education pathways. Some of them have as many as five. So anything from engineering to business, just go check with your counselor and see what you can enroll in. You have to complete two years in order of the pathway in order to go ahead and be a part of this internship program. Well, Jacob, I'm um, excited that you actually got to see what it's like in real life. That's, and I, I get the idea of, um, I used to turn on the faucet and, oh, we got water coming out. Until I toured the water treatment plant, I had no idea 
what's behind the scenes on that. So it's great that you get to apply that. I do hope you end up working for the city of Roseville. It's a great place to work. And I think it's a wonderful program. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, so any other council comment or questions? Maybe a question comment, but um, what I find really intriguing with the city of Roseville, there are jobs that you don't even think belong in a city. I mean, you have no concept. I remember the very first time that I was on council, and it was back with the wastewater treatment plant, is going into the, literally it was like microbiologists because they're checking for organisms and what, you know, what's okay and what's not okay. So you have real scientists here. And so something that you wouldn't like, the first thing you wouldn't think you'd be seeing that, that's what you see. So I think it's really intriguing that it's a, it's a mini city with many different aspects. And, and, you know, you were saying health, and I was thinking microbiology, but, you know, now we're doing social services, are working with the, with the police department, and there's all kinds of things that interrelate that um, are just um, new cutting edge that's that right. are real exciting for especially new high school and college graduates. Can you respond to that? When, I, when we came out for the engineering uh, career day that we did here, I actually drove a van load of students who didn't know each other from various engineering classes, and they didn't say a word. I couldn't get them to talk all the way here. When, after the wastewater treatment plant, I couldn't get them to shut up in the car. They were so excited about what they saw, and they were actually saying, I knew this happens, but now I finally got to figure out why, you know, and they were just, they were so excited about what they saw. Yes. So it really helped. We need new blood. The next generation. It's good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open this item up to public comment. Does anyone from the public wish to comment on the item? <clears throat> Seeing none, we'll close, it, close public comment and bring it back to council for final comments or deliberation. Council, you've had your comments. I would like to make a comment. This uh, Internships, I think, are critically important. I'm the product of an unpaid internship many, many years ago when I was in college. In, I know Dom's heard me talk about this for many years, as has the previous, as have the previous city managers. I think it's a tremendous opportunity for the city um, to get uh, to kind of grow our own employees. Uh, but I think, as a, like I said, as a product of an internship, it's a great opportunity for high school students and/or college students to really get an idea of what it is uh, the job that they might be interested in does, what it entails, and what they would be doing in that profession. So. I want to thank you all for bringing this to the council. I'm really excited about this item. And uh, could the clerk read the motion, please? To adopt resolution number 20-045, approving a cooperative education agreement by and between the City of Roseville and Roseville Joint Union High School District and authorizing the city manager to execute the agreement on behalf of the City of Roseville. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Vice Mayor Bernasconi? Yes. Councilmember Albert? Yes. Councilmember Ricucci? Yes. Councilmember Hattishelt? Yes. And Mayor Allard? Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's go get those 150 interns. <laughs> <coughs> That's a tall order. <laughs>